নমস্কার স্পট অর্নিং সি আপনাদের সবাইকে স্বাগত আমি সাগর এই মুহূর্তে আপনাদের সাথে উপস্থিত রয়েছি জুয়োভারতী ক্রীড়াঙ্গন থেকে তবে মোহনবাগান সুপার জায়েন্টের সামনে কিন্তু একটা কঠিন প্রতিপক্ষ ওয়েট করে রয়েছেন নাম বেঙ্গালুরু এফসি বেঙ্গালুরু এফসি এই মরসুমে বিশেষ করে চমৎকার ফুটবল খেলছে সুনীল ছেত্রীর দল বেঙ্গালুরুর বিরুদ্ধে এও ম্যাচ খেলতে উড়ে যাবে মোহনবাগান সুপার জায়েন্ট তবে মোহনবাগান সুপার জায়েন্ট প্রেস কনফারেন্সে উপস্থিত হয়েছিলেন ফুটবলার দিমিত্রি বেত্রা দাস এবং কোচ মলিনা কোচ মলিনা কিন্তু পরিষ্কার জানিয়ে দিলেন যে ডিফেন্সের সমস্যা একটু কাটিয়ে উঠেছে কিন্তু তাও গোল কনসিপ করছেন কিন্তু ডিফেন্সে নুনো এসে গেছে কিন্তু নুনোকে নিয়ে এই মুহূর্তে কোচ মলিনা কিছু ভাবছেন না সুতরাং বলাই বাহুল্য নুনোকে বেঙ্গালুর উমেন্স ম্যাচে দেখা যাচ্ছে না তবে দিমিত্রির যখন জিজ্ঞেস করা হয়েছিল যে একটু হয়তো ম্যাচ ফিট নন দিমিত্রি যেরকম দিমিত্রিকে আমরা দেখে অভ্যস্ত সেরকম দেখা যায়নি দিমিত্রিও কিন্তু বলেছেন যে ফুটবলার সবসময় কঠিন পরিস্থিতির মধ্যে দিয়ে যেতে হয় তাদের ম্যাচ বাই ম্যাচ তাদের ভাবতে হয় সুতরাং তারাও ডিমিও আশাবাদী যে আবারও সেরা ছন্দে ফিরবে আর মোহনবাগানের যে নয়নের মনি তিনি হয়ে উঠেছেন তার দাম কিন্তু তিনি রাখবেন তবে মলিনাকে ম্যাকলারেন নিয়ে জিজ্ঞেস করা হয়েছিল তিনি জানিয়েছেন যে ম্যাকলারেন পুরোপুরি ফিট তিনিও কিন্তু আশা করা যাচ্ছেন খেলবেন আর দিমিকে যখন ম্যাকলারেন নিয়ে জিজ্ঞেস করা হয়েছিল পরিষ্কার কিন্তু জানিয়েছেন যে ম্যাকলারেন যতক্ষণ মাঠে থাকবে মোহনবাগানের সুবিধা সুতরাং এটা খুবই বড় কথা ম্যাকলারেন যেটুকু ম্যাচ আগের ম্যাচে খেলেছিল যেটুকু সময় ম্যাচ টাইম পেয়েছিল সেটুকু সময়ে বেশ চনমনে মনে হয়েছিল সুতরাং বেঙ্গালুরু ম্যাচে বেশ বেঙ্গালুরুতে তাবর তাবর ফুটবলার রয়েছে দিয়াজ রয়েছেন সুতরাং আরও বেশ ভালো ভালো ফুটবলার রয়েছেন চাংতে রয়েছেন সবাইকে আটকাতে কিন্তু মোহনবাগান কোচ পুরোপুরি আত্মবিশ্বাসী যে এই ম্যাচে আয় ম্যাচ থেকে তারা তিন পয়েন্টই পাখি চোখ করেছেন দেখার বিষয় এখন এটাই থাকবে যে মোহনবাগান সুপার জাইন বেঙ্গালুরুকে হারিয়ে অ্যাও ম্যাচ অ্যাও ম্যাচে তিন পয়েন্ট নিয়েই কলকাতায় ফেরে কিনা তবে এদিন বিশদে প্রেস কনফারেন্সে দিমিত্রি বেত্রাতস এবং কোচ মলিনা কি বলছেন সেটাই আপনার একবার শুনুন on the pitch longer of course um and and play his part in the team then this is last season so every time you get, get on to the pitch there are expectations of you to do their performance and also the fans also want their favorite player to score so is does that is it putting more pressure for you to score because now now you have to have uh, quite a few options in uh, in, in the attacking line so does it put more pressure on you to score বেস্ট <laughs> and this is all i can do so yeah i will continue this way and uh like i said it's early on in the season um it was disappointing to get the draw of course the first game but two games in it's not such a bad point okay we will win in two nil but this is in the past now we got the point we got the three points last game now we focus on the next game to get three points as well I just wanted to know that uh, last year it was in a such a form, uh, we all know that and still this year, are you satisfied with your form or your, uh, what do you think, what, do you, what is your analysis on uh, your uh, performance? Look, uh, it's, it's early on in the season, uh, two games into the, the league, so look, every time I want to improve, of course, even last season, I am never satisfied, always. As a footballer you can always improve in in every part so this is just part of the game um in the end it's a team sport so we have to do things as a team um and yeah just keep going uh, you know Martin that as we play you have a match so you never thought of having a match that you is going to uh, play like other in other activities you always go for win but in some uh, way actually that as a uh, uh, team is con- uh, considering some goals actually so would be a good bit cautious in the beginning to face bangalore then go for the kill kill actually for the score uh, look uh, the coach has a game plan um we'll go through it today as well 
and uh, of course we go into every game wanting to win. Uh, this is the main objective, uh, to win games, get points on the board and, and go for it. Next question. So, um, how tough will it be to play against Bengal? We have already seen what happened in the World Cup when we were two goals ahead and they equalized and the match had to be decided in tiebreaker. So, playing in Bengal at the Kantirava Stadium, how tough will it be, how challenging will it be for your team? For me, it's the same. It doesn't matter to play at home, to play away. To me, all the matches are the same. I want my team playing in the same way. Doesn't matter where. Playing in the same way. Doesn't matter against who. And play, playing in the same way. Doesn't matter uh, in which competition we are playing. You know? I want my team with uh, personality, with uh, ambition and trying to compete and to dominate the games. It doesn't matter where, where I want to play, you know, and no difference for me in terms of if we play at home or we play away. Always it's good to play at home because we have our club, right? Helping and supporting and pushing us, and that is great, and we can have that in Bengalu. But Inside the pitch will be 11 players against 11, fighting, fighting to win, and that is what I uh, expect to see. Mokum Bagan fighting to win and trying to make the best uh, football as possible. Thank you. In October, you will play in Norway, and the Derby match in ISS. So, are you happy with this picture? With it? With this picture. Okay, I would like to play, to me will be, I think it's, it's, it's not helping us, right, because we had a long trip to Tracto, or to Cabris, yeah. yeah. right, uh, then we have to come back, uh, long trip to come back, okay, and uh, we will came here, we will arrive here, the match on feet. I think it's not uh, really good, right? Maybe at least six, right? For to have at least one one day here in Kogata to train or to do something, right? But uh, I think ISL has to think about that uh, things and to help uh, because the Indian teams who are playing in FC competitions, they are representing Indian football, right? Then uh, I think everybody and ISL, of course, has to try to help that team, you know, all of all of us, to have the best uh, options as possible to represent India in the best way as possible around the continent, right? Played the match last match, but in the second half, so you see him starting or? It's still not 100% fit to start. We'll see. <laughs> Do you want to tell you the line up? Would you like us to... Yeah. Sorry, it's not possible. <laughs> but given that his fitness, is he still not 100% fit He's, he's, he's uh, getting better every day. He helped uh, the last match, uh, coming from the bench and playing 15 minutes. Even if he could score, no, finally uh, he did it, right? But uh, okay, I'm, I'm happy with uh, him. He's working really hard to be back to the team or to be with the team as soon as possible, uh, 100%. And okay, Jamie is a great player, we all know. But uh, it's, uh, you know, it's not easy to play here in Mohumbagan in the attacking line, right? Because we have Greg, we have Vinny, we have Jason, you know? And it's difficult to play with four forwards, with four strikers, you know? Maybe, maybe it's, it's not the best, right? Because we need 
some defenders, we need some midfielders to create the uh, action, you know. Okay, it's, uh, I'm really happy with, uh, to have uh, all of them on the team. We have different options. And I will try to put in the lineup the best option for every match is possible. And the good thing is that we have we will have on the bench someone who can come and can score, like uh, maybe Jason last match, right? He started on the bench, he came from the bench, he and Jamie, and uh, the two players could score, had chances to score. Finally, only Jason scored, but that is always uh, very important for the coach and I think for the team, okay? to have players on the bench who can help, who can, can come from the bench in the last minutes, last 20 minutes, last 30 minutes, last 5 minutes and help you, help the team and score and, and maybe win the match like, like uh, Jason Cummings last uh, match. They actually revealed themselves actually very soon. So uh, is that the concern thing for you? Is that? Uh, are, you, are, you, are you thinking about it? About Bengaluru? I'm thinking about Bengaluru. We have to face them, you know? <laughs> but uh, uh, I, uh, they, 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 they reinforce uh, the team, his team, the team in the, in the best way they, they could. I think they did a great job. Uh, they have a very, very good team, good players, and working uh, really well. It's a team we had the, the opportunity to to face them in the Durant Cup, and it was a tough, tough match. They play really well, and well, uh, will not be easy. But uh, I always say the same. Uh, I have confidence in my players, in my team. We are working really well and we will go to the Nalu trying to achieve the three points to make the best uh, football as possible and try to win. It's always, it's always the same. So you just say that uh, there is no option uh, for Albafro or this for the next match. So is there, do you think that there no is... No option? Uh, yeah, I mean... No. Not sure, not sure. It seems that no, it seems that no. Okay. But we have to wait uh, until today, tomorrow, if we can train. Okay? So, uh, if it will be the same combination in your defense like uh, last match, or uh, will you want to experiment with um, To change some uh, players in the defense? Yes. We will see. The point is, uh, we have not uh, too many options in in our defense. Uh, then, in that moment, uh, without Alberto, uh, it's really okay. We have options, but uh, I think the back for uh, the last match they played really well. Then uh, maybe we are going to play with the same. More. Is there any chance if Nuno will be uh, actually taken in, in, in any other player instead of other player? Is there any chance? To change any player for Nuno? In that moment, no. Nuno came to help us uh, uh, mainly in the Champions League. We have already six uh, foreign players registered in the ASL. I think uh, we can't uh, change if not any injury, important injury. Then in that moment, uh, the six foreign players for ISL is clear and waiting for Nuno to help us in the Champions League. Uh, 
Okay. For tomorrow, I think no. We have to wait still. For tomorrow, no. Day after tomorrow. Day after tomorrow, right? Uh, still not working with the team. Uh, working apart, uh, then difficult to be ready for the match. But we will see.